What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to go over how men fall in love, the process. So why is this beneficial to you? Why do you want to know this? Two main reasons. Number one, you know the process on how men fall in love and you can use it to your advantage. It's, just, it's literally like having the other um, team's playbook. You know, use, use that information however you please. And secondly, a lot of women will come to me and they will wonder why, and this is after the fact, if you work with me, you get in the guy, but, um, you know, a lot of women will be having, uh, some type of relationship situation with the guy, the guy doesn't commit. And then three, four, five, six months later, she comes to me and she's like, the guy's in a relationship. What, what happened? What's going on? And, uh, and she doesn't understand why that is. She, she thought this guy would never commit. Um, so we're going to break this down on why all that happened so there's no confusion. First off, I want to say that a lot of therapists may disagree with this. A lot of psychologists may disagree with this, even though I help a lot of them and they, are, and they all agree with everything I'm saying. But if you go in with this mindset, I think it's going to help you. I'm a big believer that humans strive for perfection, strive for progress, strive for completion. There's always that, you know, we always have that missing puzzle piece that if we feel like if we have it, it brings everything together. The way I like to look at the world when it comes through like uh, feeling a void or anxiety, and we'll, you'll see how this, uh, this all intertwines. Uh, the way I like to look at the world through you know, why people have anxiety and worry and this and that and whatever is because of a concept I call blueprint versus reality. Now, blueprint is where someone wants to be like, uh, you know, their ideal life. Uh, okay. He, Johnny likes me. We get together, no games. We're in a relationship and we have fucking babies, like whatever. Reality is where you actually stand with Johnny. Johnny's playing games. Johnny's this, Johnny's that. Johnny doesn't even know what he wants, yada, yada, yada. The closer those things get, the more comfortable or comparable those things are, the comfortable, um, more happy or happier you are. The further they are away from each other, the more stress uh, someone becomes. So what does this have to do with men? Men want two things from women, okay? And well, I guess a lot of things, but everything falls under these two umbrellas. They want the, what I call the evolutionary desires and the physical desires. Now, what do, or not the physical, sorry, the uh, personal desires, physical desires go under um, evolutionary, but they, those are two desires they want. And an example of this, so evolutionary desires would be things that would get us to our goal of, um, of uh, uh, survival and reproduction. So a, you know, and we do that by getting advantages, by getting assets. So an attractive woman, a high value woman, a nurturing woman, loyal woman, loving woman, all those type of things. Then there's the personal desires, but I want to kind of break this down in two different categories. There's the personal desires where it's like, well, I prefer someone in my same tribe who has, you know, like who has the same interests as me and, you know, close proximity and, and we like the same things and we have the same beliefs and we have, you know, we both go to church. There's that. But then there's the woman who has the X factor. She has that thing, right? that other women don't have that he looks at and he's like, oh shit, I need that in my life. I want that in my life. I'll commit to that. And ladies, as don't click off this, that is a real thing. Men really feel that. They really feel that. And, you know, uh, and here's the good thing about all this. If you're interested in more on this, I have a free guide below. I decided to give the guy a guide away from free or for free because so many women are telling me how helpful it is and how much it um, impacted their dating life for the positive and got them into relationships. So I want to help all you out. Link is down below if you want that free, absolutely free guide. But in that guide, I talk about a lot of the stuff we're, I'm mentioning here. I talk about the, 
evolutionary desires and I list all the things that men want. I talk about the personal desires and list all the things want, or a guy wants. Then I go into that X factor, which I call the tribe. Um, and then on top of that, like the bundle, like the offer. And what an offer basically is from a sales perspective is all the benefits you're putting together for somebody at a cost. And if a woman is a great offer, right? I know this sounds objectifying, but hear me out. Meaning she's a loyal woman, a good woman, a fun woman, a nice woman, a sweet woman, a caring, selfless, attractive, highly sought after, high value. She's all these things. And she has that X factor, okay? Which again, you'll know more about that when I, when you, when I read or uh, you read the guide and I talk about tribe and stuff. But when she has that, a man will do anything to be with her. And trust me on this, ladies, it's so true. It's crazy how women will talk to me, like clients will come to me, and there'll be guys, like she could do the littlest thing, and the guy's like, oh, fuck it, I'm done. I'm done with this shit. I'm, I call this margin of error. I'm done with that. Meaning, you know, he doesn't really like her as much, or he's unsure about her, or he doesn't see her long term. So her margin of error um, is smaller. And what that basically states is, um, but in layman terms, he's, he's looking for a reason. Hey, I like you, but not so much. Get, I dare you to give me a reason not to like you kind of thing. Like he's almost kind of looking for a way out. Whereas the woman who has that X factor, the woman who has all those things, like the bundle, um, she can, dude, she can cheat on the guy and the guy isn't going anywhere. I've seen it. I've seen women smear guys through the effing dirt and these guys aren't going anywhere. Now, you probably don't want anyone like that. You want someone with self-respect and who, you know, and who values himself, but that's not what we're getting at. I'm not trying to get you those guys. What I'm just stating is that there's a spectrum, okay? And it's based on margin of error, how obsessive a guy can get with you. Or, um, yeah, how it says so a guy can get over you. Um, and the thing is, if you have this thing, if you have the bundle that is rare and that he cannot find easily on the market, you are now high value. A lot of men want you, but you're scarce. And on top of that, if you listen to the guide and, and oh, by the guy, by the way, the guide's audio book too, so that might help you. But, um, you know, but if you listen and read the guide or, or, or uh, my other videos, or you work with me, you're going to see how powerful that is. You're going to see how to do that. You're going to see how you can, here's the, the irony of it. Like women here is it's so funny because as a dating coach, the more I, do this, I, I start to realize that there's not, I'm going to contradict the whole point of this video, but there's not really a way that guys fall in love with you. It's women being so valuable, so pretty, so beautiful, so amazing, so, so loving, so caring, so fun that a guy will find ways to justify it. Okay. Um, to, to be with you. I, I've done it myself. I'm telling you, there's girls in my life where, who were out of my league in terms of a lot of things. I'm like, eh, I'm not feeling, I don't know. So, like something was missing. And then there's girls wh that I would like and my friends would be like, really? I'm like, yeah, man, it's just, fuck, there's something about her. She just is the missing puzzle piece. And this is why I talk a lot, um, again, I say it in the guide, by saying in my videos too, don't, hey, don't just cast a net out there and see what you can get. Like you need to be a specific person for a specific someone and vice versa. You need to look for a specific type of dude. Obviously a dude who's wanting a relationship, but that's a prerequisite. You, on, on top of that, you need to look for a guy who has the qualities that you want, the things that you want, the, the beliefs, the lifestyle, whatever it is. Like you really want to niche it down. Now you might think, well, Ellie, if I do that, then I'm, I'm, you know, the pool's so small, I'm not going to find those guys. Okay, cool. Start small and work your way out. Work your way out. But do find, like, you don't want to just cast something out there and, and then meet a dude who you have good chemistry with, but, you know, there's all these other, you know, red flags, and it's like, and then you end up wasting your time. It happens all the time, ladies. It happens all the time. So what you need to do is start small and then work your way out. 
But if you have that missing puzzle piece, and again, for people who are confused, you're like, well, what's this X factor? What's that missing puzzle piece? It's dependent on the guy, but it goes back to what I said two minutes ago. It's what it really is, is it's almost like an illusion. Ooh, you know, it's like an illusion. A guy, you if you just have all these other things in place and you're a high value woman and you play the game correctly and you're talking to a dude who does want a relationship or is on the uh, the edge of wanting one, um, you can easily reel those guys in by just being having all these things, being so amazing. A guy himself is going to justify it. He's going to justify while why you're high value. He's going to just not saying you're not, but he's going to you know be like yeah okay I like it's called framing, damn it. You know it's just easy. It's it's easier to do when you can build the context and the frame in that sense. Um, you have a lot of margin error. The guy isn't going anywhere. Okay, so. With that being said, ladies, I know it's kind of all over the place, and I hope I gave you an answer. I know when I was telling this, I was like, am I even telling him what, like, the actual thing that, like, the actual process on how guys fall in love? And again, I know I kind of went on tangents and left and right and stuff, but at the end of the day, I, like I said, the more I do this, I truly believe that, you know, um, got, the way guys do it is. They want the original things, the evolutionary desires, the personal desires. But then when a woman has that X factor, it's a whole different story. And again, what's that X factor? Again, it's almost an illusion because if she has all these other things and she's high value, she plays the game and conveys. There's a difference between having value and conveying value. If she knows how to uphold her standard and convey the value that she can offer a man, right? He's going he's gonna to magnify this thing tenfold, this X factor. He's gonna, it's going to multiply, okay? So... That being said, ladies, I love you all. Take care and peace.